hello guys welcome to a new video welcome back to my world and it's all about art art and more art today i'm going to be showing you the basic starter pack for artists in kenya and i hope you find this video helpful first off are your pencils you can begin off with the hb and office point pencils and later you can upgrade to the lumograph pencils and the charcoal pencils because the hb pencils actually show flashback in your drawings but they come according to the darkness intensity so you'll find that h is lighter but 12b 6b you know 4b are darker next up is your pigment liner for me i use the stiddler pigment liner and it also comes in different sizes i love it because i can use it to highlight the darker areas in my drawings you know the eyelashes baby hairs and the pupils etc then for blending you will require cotton buds for me i use hanan cotton buds and also you'll require a soft blending brush at the moment i don't have a soft blending brush so i'm just using this blue one one side for blending and the other side for removing dirt in my drawings and you also require your blending tools uh, it comes in different sizes from number one which is the smallest to number six which is the largest and if it gets dirty you can just sharpen it using a razor blade uh, I also have my sharpeners and my razor blade. Then there's your electric eraser, but it's not a must if you can't get it. But it's good because once the rubber wears off, you can just replace it with another one. Yeah, and it is powered by batteries, so once the batteries wear off, you can also replace them with other batteries. Then for highlighting, I use this highlighter pen or uniposca pen for highlighting those shiny areas in my drawings. Then you also require color pencils. For me, I use Faber Castell. I will totally recommend this because you can mix it with oil. I'll be doing a review video on the Faber Castell. That will actually be my next video, so don't worry. But if you can't get this set, uh, you can just use any suitable color pencil that you can get. But Faber Castell is among the best. And I'll just show you guys, like you'll see a few of the drinks. Uh, sorry, yeah, drinks that I've done using this faber castell set in my next video then you also require a drink book i used to use this drink book one when i was in high school and i didn't love it like it doesn't bring out the media that you used quite well you see the colored pencils or the graphite art it doesn't catch that you know that shading quite good But you can upgrade to size surface point sketch pad. It's a bit rougher compared to the Kasuku drawing book and it will bring out your drawings much better. You can see a few of the drawings, like a few of the pieces that I've done on this book. Yeah, it's still smooth, but it has a smooth texture, but compared to the Kasuku brand, it's much better. These are just some of the pieces I've done on this book. Uh, the Borden and Relay Tappen Sketch Pad. I love this book because the texture is rough and it is so suitable for graphite art or charcoal art. And it's so much better compared to ivory paper. Yeah, it has a texture almost similar to Canson paper. So if you can't get this book, you can just use the Canson paper. But if you prefer ivory, ivory paper, you can still use it. But this book is quite good. You can see the drawings I've done on this book. It has a good rough texture. Then there's your display book. Uh, this is an A4 size. I don't know if they are bigger sizes, but I used to use this back when I was in high school. You can just use it to store your art so that it doesn't get dirty, you know, get ruined, it you see. These are some of the pieces that I did back in high school and I stored them in this display book. Mm -hmm. 
then this is your paint set uh this is the Winsor and newton this is so good for beginners i did a review on this on that paint yeah you'll just see it in my playlist and then there's this other paint which is not that good it's just for trying out it's actually watercolor it's not that good actually but you can just use it then this your paint brushes uh, it also they also come in different sizes and different shapes you know this is the soft brush hard brush if you're painting you'll of course need your painting brushes they come in sizes from the smallest to the largest then uh, this your painting book I don't know the name of this painting book I just bought it at science scope but it's yeah it's a good painting book it has a rough texture suitable for painting these are some of the paintings that I've done on this book and as you can see it receives paint well I used the Winsor and Newton paint on this one and like I said you can find the review on the Winsor and Newton paint uh, on my channel just scroll like it's among the I think it's the second video yeah this is the current painting that I'm doing on this book I'm just taking my time with it then there are your rulers uh, I have a lot of rulers but they're just kind of the same I have the small size and also the metal size yeah so that's it for today guys i hope you found this video helpful i'll see you in my next video so bye